multiple by this complex number, okay? So we multiply the conjugate to i, 1 minus i times 1 plus i, 1 plus i. But denominator, 1 minus i squared, i squared is negative 1, so denominator now is 2. Okay, numerator, still 2i, 1 plus i. So cancel the 2, i times i, I'm going to rearrange the first, okay? i squared is negative 1, and the next one is a 1 times i is i. That is the imaginary part, okay? This is a, this is b, okay? So negative 1 is the answer, okay? Number 14, find out the solutions. You can cross multiplication first. x squared equals 2x plus 1. One side is 0, okay? x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. This is not factorable. So we have to use the quadratic formula, okay? You know the quadratic formula. Negative b, okay? a is 1, b is a negative 2, c is a negative 1, okay? Negative b is 1, negative negative 2 is 2 plus minus negative 2 squared is positive 4 minus 4 times a is 1, c is a negative 1. Over 2 times a is 2. But this is inside radical is 8. Square root a is 1. 2 red 2, okay? 2 square root 2 over 2. Divided by 2 both sides, 1 plus minus square root 2 is the answer. Okay? Choice B is the answer. Number 1, number 15. So we have a linear equation. Uh, P equals 9 over 2k plus 40. 9 over 2 is a slope. That is what? Change in P over change in k. That is slope 9 over 2. Okay, so using this one, we can check it out 1, 2, 3. When k is increased by 1, delta k equals 1, what happens? Possible. Delta k equals 1, delta p is 9 over 2. Delta p is increased 1. That is 4.5, not 40, right? This is not slope. Choice 1 is wrong. Second one is the value of k increased by 2, delta k is 2, so delta p over delta k is now 2, it is also a 9 over 2. What is delta p? Increase in p is 9, okay? p increased by 9, that's fine. That is true. The third one is k increased by 4, this k 4 over there, okay? 4 and delta p, that is equals 9 over 2, okay? What is uh, delta p there? You can use cross multiplication, okay? 2 delta p equals 1. 4 times 9 is 36. Delta p equals 18. So p increased by 18. Number 3 is also okay. So 2 and 3 is the answer, okay? All right, number 16. x squared minus 8x equals negative 10. The quadratic above has two real solutions. It has two real solutions. But one of this one is already 5, okay? A is a constant. What is the other solution? How can you find this way? Anyway, to find the other solution, we need to find the value of A, that's right? Because what? 5 is a solution. Put this number in there, it should be true. 25 minus 5 there, 5A equals the negative 10. So over here, 5A equals how much? 35. So A equals 7, right? The equation is this one x squared minus 7x and plus 10 equals 0. This is a factorable, okay? But you can factor it, doesn't matter. Negative 2, negative 5 equals 0. So we have two solutions, 2 and 5. We got this already. The other solution is 2, okay? That's the answer. Or you can use beta's formula too. Sum of root, 5 plus the other root, that is equals to negative b over a. Negative, negative 7 over 1 is 7, right? From here, you can find r is 2 also. Or Product of here. 5 times r, that is the product of the root, can be 10, right? From here, you can find r is 2, okay? You can use any method, okay? So, number 17, 15 over x minus 1 minus 7. This is the same common denominator, right? Maybe you can use this on the other side. 15 over x minus 1 equals minus, okay? I'm sorry, this is minus 5 over x minus 1, that's right? 
this is moved to the right. 3 plus 7 is 10. Okay? So this is 10 over x minus 1 equals to 10. For real, what are these numbers? It's going to be equals to 1. Why right? 10 over 1 is 10? Okay? Or you can switch this time. So 10 over 10 equals to x minus 1. This is 1 there. Okay? So the value of x is 2. It's the answer. Okay? So number 18. Uh, these two lines are parallel. Okay, we have a two transverse right at intersection at this point. Okay, this is 80. Maybe you can use your alternate interim also 80. So the other side is 100. Or some of these two in the same side, okay, some of these two angles in the same side or is supplementary, which is 180. You can use that, okay? So it's the same thing. So 100 is 2A, A equals 50, isn't it? This is a 50, this is a 50. Or you can use this one too. This is alternate, right? 50 and 50. So the other supplementary angle is 130, okay? Or you can use this one. This is a 130. This one is 130, right? Alternate interior angle too. So B equals 130 is the answer. Now move on number 19. Okay, some community, community okay, provided one sort for A people. So a people, this is one sort, okay? A people. They provide one sort. I'm going to use it. Okay, so the next one is what? Large bag of chip. I'm going to chip. This is poor people. Every poor people, right? So another poor people, that is the two chips. Okay. The third one is cheesecake. Cheesecake for six people. That's one cheesecake. Another six. One more, okay, something like that. Okay, so some of all these were number of sodas, number of chips, back chips, number of cheese, they are all equals to 78. How many people are there? We're gonna find, okay, how many people? Let this one, n is what the number of people. If you got the n, eight people, every eight people, they provide one soda, okay, number of soda is by n over eight, is okay. Now, every four people, they provide one chip. Okay, large bag of chip. So n over four, that is the number of chips. Okay, so cheesecake, every six people. So n over six, that's right. That is the number of chips. All together equals to 78. Now we have to solve this one. Common denominator is 24, right? So you can multiply times 24 both sides. That's better. So 3n plus 6n plus 4n equals what, 78 times. 24. Some of all this number is what? How much? 13n, right? 13n equals 78 times 24. So divided by 13 over here. This is 1, this is 6. So the number of n is 6 times 24 is 144, right? So there are 144 people there, okay? That's, that's number 20. Okay, we have a trapezoid. M is the midpoint. This is midpoint. These two sides is equal. So AD equals 3 times BC. If this is 1, this is 3. But when you divide by this, 1.5. Maybe this is better, right? 2 is what? 3 times 2 is 6. Each one is 3. 3. It's, this is better, okay? Integer. What fraction of the area of a trap you just say that? Okay? What is the area of this one? The ratio of the area. If this is 3, 3, this is 2, they have, right, same height. The height is the same. Okay, this is, they are not similar, okay? Just what they are shared by common height. By this case, the area of this, this one, okay, area of right, the base is what, 3, 3, 2, right? 3, 3, 2. Area also what, 3, 3, 2, okay? If this is 3K, this is 3K, this is area 2K. The same ratio of it, okay? Ratio of the length, ratio of the area still, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2. Is okay? For example, if we have this is 2, same height. The other one is uh, 3. The length of this space is, we know that 2 to 3. The area also 2 to 3, that's the formula, right? How? They're going to have the same height. Okay, using this side, you can find the area, right? Base times the height divided by 2. 2H two divided by 2 is the area of this triangle. The other one is 3 times H height divided by 2. Okay? This is how much? Cancel out. H is the same out. 
find we still got the 2 to 3, right? The same ratio will be, okay? 2 to 3. So they will be related. This is 3K, 3K, this is 2K. Total area of this trapezoid is how much? 6, 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 6K, right? But say that there is only 20K, isn't it? I'm sorry, 8K, I'm sorry, 8K. 6, 3, 3, 3K, 2K, 8K, but this say that the region is 2K. The ratio of this one is one fourth is that, okay? Okay, that's all our section three, okay? So next video, we're gonna start with section four. Thank you.